Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video. And today it is time to take a look at the free-to-play protector Benny Maru. Uh, finally got his skill all finished up from doing the predator battles every day, and so now, now it's time. Um, he seems to be pretty good. If I was to directly compare him to somebody, honestly, it would he would almost be... Uh, very close to the old, like, original um, orc protector, right? Because he changed all blues to oranges, he gave you 20 points, but the orc raised your cap by 20, and Benny Mario was giving physical characters an 80% crit rate. And, you know, it's debatable which one gets is better. I would actually probably call Benny Maru better, because uh, raising a skill cap with oranges doesn't really mean much, because oranges don't get you a lot of skill points to begin with. But... He is giving a 30% buff to New Year's Blessing characters against Dark, and also buffs Ogre's Pride in New Year's Blessing. So, I mean, Ogre's Pride definitely has a lot of units, and New Year's Blessing is obviously the current meta. Um, I, I think he's going to do pretty well, especially if, as a protector for newer players that maybe didn't get lucky for Xion. I still think that maybe if you pulled, um, like, Rimuru, or you have a few other physical allies, you can make pretty good use of him, even though, you know, a lot of the game is built against oranges. But let's find some places where he can work. Alright, so we're going to go into EX2 of the current beatdown battle, the last stage you need to get, you know, the Diablo dupes. And we're going to lead, you know, him, uh, the free-to-play Benny Maru, and, you know, Rimuru. And then we've got free-to-play Mirror and free-to-play Hero, and then very, very old fire guy. So, and we're going to get be getting crit from him. We'll have the alt buff and crit resistance down. We have a unit that gives away three orbs to the unit with the highest attack, which is very obviously him. Uh, we have Diablo giving away New Year's orbs, so, I mean, well, let's see if we can actually make it work here. Alright, so first off, we're going to give away the three orbs to Rimuru. So, this makes that pretty easy to do, and, I mean, he does good damage. Even with the only 30% damage buff versus the Xion 60, we're still doing decent damage. This is the X2, like, this is an important stage to get to, right? So, he's going to change blues. He's going to be able to convert convert these blues into oranges, and that's why we also have free-to-play Mirren to change that green. So we'll do this. Boom, that's changed. Benny Maru gives us 20 points, give us a, a, you know, a decent chance to crit here. Uh, we probably should have brought someone else in for that. Uh, but then we can also bring Hero in. And now he gives away three orbs to the person with the highest attack, which is obviously Rimuru. He also puts, you know, fire resistance, which doesn't matter. Like, <laughs> we're not doing anything with that. But, one, two, three, four, and do we hit on all five? We hit on all five crits. I, I call that, okay, that's certainly something right there. Uh, ch sure, uh, we can, I guess we can work with that. Uh, let's go ahead and apply the buff now. And then we'll take him out, and we'll just use this entire hand of hero orbs, I, I, I guess. What, what are the odds of that? Uh, anyways, whatever. So, we hit on all five crits. 80% chance, and we hit it all five times. I'd say that's pretty good, and that allowed us to get to an EX alt. And now we're probably going to have enough points here. Yep. So, what can we do here? Um... Honestly, not much. So let's just go ahead and alt buff. We'll lower the crit resistance on Adelman. And then we'll bring Rimuru back in for... Guy, I guess. And then we'll convert those two blues into oranges. Give us 20 points, which I don't think we can do anything here. Um, well, we could... No, we could rainbow here. Alright, let's do that. Or we could do the gauge buff. Mm, let's do the rainbow because we'll be able to combo this entire hand now. So we'll send the hero alt, we'll send the Rimuru alt, Diablo, hero, hero, and then we'll end with the Rimuru orb. So hero is not going to do good damage. But we crit. 21k. Rimuru did not crit. All right, we missed it there. Unfortunate. Do we hit it on the 200% orb, though? Uh, yes, we do. 62,000 damage. I, oh, okay, that's a nice hand of blues right there. Okay. Uh, man, I'd really like it if we had another hero, or another Benny Mario, huh? That'd be pretty, pretty useful right now. 
but we're going to have to just play around with it. We've used all of our skills, and so because, you know, we're not getting full hands of oranges every single turn, we don't have a lot of skills that cycle. Uh, it is kind of tough sledding right here to get things going, but we should be able to make it work. Let's... Oh, we can't use the magic skill anymore. Okay. Well, let's just do this, and we'll just try and work our way up to getting another usage of Benny Morrow to try and finish this guy off before he kills us. So, mm, limited, maybe. All right, that hurt a little bit. And the poison's gonna hurt, too. Okay, well, we missed that crit. That was kind of an important thing, because that would have done quite a bit more damage. Let's try and come back when we do hit that crit and see how much damage we actually do. All right, we're back on turn three. Uh, we've made pretty good progress. We have the EX Alt. We got this natural, literally the natural full hand of Rimuru Orbs. We haven't used a single skill yet to like give it away or anything, so we got very lucky there. Go ahead and use the attack buff. I don't want to use the rainbows quite yet in case we need to do something else next turn or a turn after the nuke, but this will get us, you know, another protector Benny Mario, give us a decent amount of points, and then we can hopefully hit that crit on this turn right here. So... We've still got the weakness strike and the attack buff. What we can do here is bring Guy in now and use his alt buff. Crit resistance down will give us the crit. We won't be able to change those two greens, unfortunately, because we've already used Mirren's orb chain. Or no, actually, we could have, but we swapped her out, so I misplayed right there. Unfortunate. But let's go ahead and just send this and... We'll send these guy orbs? Sure, why not? Do we hit the crit? We do. 307,000. That's quite a big difference from that last uh, that last instance of doing this, right? 300,000. Rimuru's orb change is about to get sealed here, unfortunately. And that's not great. Not great at all. We only have one orb for him, too. Damn. Okay, well... Let's, uh, let's give some orbs away, I guess. Well, we can't, because we don't have any oranges. Mm, well, let's, uh, let's, let's do, let's do this and the rainbow. So we'll give at least this one other orange away. Rainbow, and we can combo off these greens, I, I guess. And that gets us another protector, at least, and hopefully we get those greens out. And we get a full hand of oranges next turn, and then we can maybe try and kill him. Uh, okay. Or you can just give me four more or greens. That's unfortunate. Let's get Rimuru out of harm's way. He's taking a little bit too much damage here. We'll, again, try and burn these greens out, and next turn try and switch with Benny Maru into a full hand. Okay, thank you for the counter. Alright, that's good. That hurt. But that's good. And we'll be able to use the attack buff as well. So we'll... Uh, who has the most orbs? It doesn't really matter now, does it? Rimuru can come in for Guy, I, I guess. We'll convert those blues into orange. Boom, full six hand. We have 100 points now, so let's go ahead and use the attack buff. And he's going to die here. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Hit those crits. One, two, three, four... Five. All right, we might have hit all six, but I mean, turn seven, not great. The team isn't super duper good, but I mean, we did 300,000. I'd call that pretty nice for, you know, a new unit and a free-to-play protector alongside a very, very old buffing unit. Um, let's, uh, let's take him somewhere else, I guess. All right, next up, we're going to take this kind of makeshift, almost free-to-play team uh, into Conquest Hinata, where we can use Orange Orbs because it was built around using the Orc. Um, Benny Mario, Hero, Dark Diablo will be our DPS. We've got Free to Play Benny Mario. Dark Xion does stack crit damage on physical allies, which we have two physical allies here. We were, will probably get the crit rate from Benny Mario. And then we've got uh, Green Orb changing from here and the giveaway as well. So, I mean, in theory, this should work fine. Hinata is not what I would call a difficult stage at all. But it's, you know, it's a place for beginners, and beginners are probably going to have to use this Protector Betty Maru more often than not. 
Okay, I mean, it's a fairly good starting hand. We can at least do something with it, because we have Diablo, who's changing, you know, one green to one blue, so we can send a full hand, or five send a blue here. Uh, we'll bring Betty Maru in, and then we'll bring Shion in, and we'll have three dark units up front. And we should do decent damage here. So, 24, 48, 45, 63 with Synergy, and her health is, like, halfway gone. Not quite, but, you know, you, you get what I'm going for. Uh, okay. So that actually works out fairly well. So we could either, we could do two things here. We could use Mirren's Orb Change, convert that green, and then use Benny Maru, or we can just use Diablo's skill again, turn that green into a blue, and then use Benny Maru, and then it'll convert it anyways. I think we're gonna use Mirren because it's cheaper. Uh, we'll take um, Dark Benny Maru out and do that. So boom. Uh, I don't is my Diablo skill fused? I don't remember. Uh, he is skill fused. Okay, so he's gonna do a little bit extra damage here compared to, you know, everything else we're used to seeing. But, while we're here, we'll go ahead and use Benny Maru. Mirren's not gonna get the crit, but we only have one orb for her. More importantly, we're gonna start stacking crit damage with this Shion on my dark unit, which is much more important. So we'll do that. That gets us almost to another Benny Maru. Gets us an alt and an alt, and I think we should look pretty good as long as we crit, yeah. That's some good damage right there. I think, actually, Shion's doing more. <laughs> Alright, she guarded that, unfortunately, but we got two alts, and I'm... Oh, if we can get um, Benny Maru here, which we can, then we are 120% going to kill. Maybe not get through her guard with normal orbs, but we can definitely nuke her now with a couple things. So, let's go ahead and bring in... Um, ooh, that could be, f well, we can't do anything about that, so let's bring you, boom, we could have used the orb change, yes, but I didn't really want to, let's use another stack plus these two skills, so that's, um, let's see, defense down, and then we'll look, give ourselves attack and dark resistance down, and between, you know, that and the crit, we should be looking pretty good here. So, Benny Maru, 80% crit, and we'll send Diablo first, then Shion, and we'll see if we can just kill straight up. Actually, I don't see this all very often. When's the last time I, like, a long-term player used Dark Diablo, right? Even though there's now four of them, right? Yeah, there's four Dark Diablos that are battle units. Crazy. Who'd have thought? And we hit the crit for 31k. And, you know, that's it. 31k is not a lot of damage, but we didn't need to do that much damage. We just needed to kill. And we certainly did that. And the crit did help us out. And there is another free-to-play unit who is buffing physical crit, which is nice. You, you know, might, you might not have her, but it, she is available to some players. Uh, let's go one more place and we'll call it a day. All right. The last place is going to be Crucible 100 versus Rimuru himself. Uh, 241k is what I would say a decent amount of HP is for an enemy when you're in, in the new game. We're gonna bring a whole bunch of blue orb changers, because we need more protection gauge, and we can change all those blues to oranges with Benny Maru. So, I mean, logically, I'm trying to make this work. Uh, Gaza will be our DPS, free-to-play Soka's here, old Leon for the light buff for these two, and then, again, stacking crit damage with Shion. And then converting with Rimuru. So let's see if... Does the stage nerf anything, by the way? I should probably check that, huh? It nerfs blues. Okay, well, awesome, great. We can convert all those anyways. Okay, we'll uh, we'll try and make this work. We're just going to send these um, blue orbs. We're going to uh, bring Shion in for Gazzle. Send these and then try and bring him back in next turn with all these, all five of these Leon orbs, maybe six if we get lucky, it's five, okay. That's fine. They're not nerfed, though. Uh, damn, I should have brought Mirren again, huh? Probably would have been better. Oh, well. It is what it is. So we'll bring Gazel in for Leon, and then we'll send these five oranges, and we'll see what next turn looks like as far as orbs are concerned. We're doing good damage to him. Okay, it's a whole butt-ton of greens. Excellent. Uh, the blues are nerfed now, which is unfortunate. So, um, you know what? I think I'm just going to send these greens as well, get them out, because I want a nice six-hand send of something. Get out of here. 
Okay, let's get a stack of crit damage. Let's just do that. Um, we can change that green with this skill right here. And then we can use Gazel's attack buff and then crit damage right here. This 20% crit damage from Gazel will stack alongside the Shion because one is temporary and one is permanent. So increased forever 5% and then increased crit damage 20% for three turns. So we can do that. And now that we've converted those to blues, we can then use Benimaru and change those blues into oranges. And, you know, that's how I was wanting this this to work out. Um, Shion's going to have crit, though, so I guess we'll leave her in. So let's see how much we do here. 55, 9? Okay, not terrible. 55, 55, 13k is a lot better. All right. And we crit everything that we could. Awesome, and he's almost dead. And we got close to cycling. Oh, we have another alt, though. And the blues are no longer nerfed which is also great. So, you know what? We're just going to do this. We're going to send him away. And then we're going to orb change this into a full hand of blue. So, we've got Rimuru's orb change, Shion's orb change. Call it good. And then, yeah, next turn, he's he's super, super duper dead. Because we'll be able to crit again. The Gazel crit damage buff will still be there. And we're going to lower his health anyways right here by a significant amount. Yeah. So, okay, we, we can start the outro then. Um, overall, like, no, the free-to-play protector is never going to set the world on fire, but that's not what they're meant to do. They're supposed to give players somewhere to start out with, some kind of protector to use in case you don't pull one out of, you know, your tutorial multis and your, your re-rolls and such things. It, it's supposed to help you begin to play the game, especially during the month that the protector comes out because they have that extra damage buff, and, you know, they also want you to, you know, at least try and get lucky for the current meta and if you can pull like Rimuru you're gonna look pretty good so light buff and then we're just gonna nuke this guy you'll be looking pretty good so overall Benny Mario I think does a lot you know when you're comparing him to other free-to-play protectors he's got three different effects right he's orb changing a full field of blues he's giving you 20 points he's giving you a very very good chance to crit on physical people which is like half the game so I think for a free-to-play protector, he's doing okay. It, we've come a long way from really, really crappy free-to-play protectors like Dino and Chloe and... Um, why is every Soe card ass? <laughs> yeah, it's like, you can have this where you can change two orbs to green and you can have a 80% chance to crit and nothing else. Like, would you do you want this? on Benny Maru, or would you rather have Benny Maru's skill? I personally would rather have Benny Maru's. So, we've, we've come a ways from this. This was... So this was late March into April. Was this Soe? So, eight, nine months from, like, behind? And uh, we can see that they're already making great strides and making free-to-play protectors much better. So, let me know what you guys think of this free-to-play Benny Maru. I think for a free-to-play protector, he, he does hold up fairly well. Um, but that's just me. That's it for me. Take it easy, guys, and I'll see you all later.